Hello everyone, I am here today just being me, I'm just doing what I need to do and so uh, I'm going to say hi to Gary out there, Gary Nash, I know he's uh, making a flight down to Florida so I hope that trip goes very well, uh, but anyways everything's going great, I'm doing some of my studies and um, doing what I can. So uh, that's what we, that's all we got to do today. So uh, everything's looking great. Um, I'm working on my Raspberry Pi. It's like a little bitty computer. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I'm going to give you a, a, a gist, an idea of what this uh, Raspberry Pi is that I keep talking about with everybody. So this is a, a little bitty computer, believe it or not. Uh, this thing could, can do a lot. Um, so you could go and browse the web, whatever. But, you you know, you, it's hard to beat and hard to believe that something like this, that's this tiny and this small, would just, you know, be a computer, correct? So, I mean, you, you wouldn't think it was um, a computer. So... There you have it. You wouldn't think it is a computer, but it is. And um, a lot of, you know, a lot of, it, actually, I find it more handy for businesses to use because you're not having to deal with a tower that's about this big, about this wide, and, you know, and about, you know, that way. You're, you know, you're dealing with a computer that is pocket size, small PC that, it, people can fill out job applications, watch a video, learn, uh, write a document on, uh, do Microsoft Excel kind of thing. You could do that. It has Office Suite on there as well. So, and you could browse the web for simple stuff, checking emails, things like that. Um, you know, it's, it's more of an educational tool. So, you, you know, you got your inputs and outputs here. And some over here. This is also, I think, a, a, a way to program this thing a, a different way, is what I've been told. Um, this is also Ethernet and USB ports. So, you know, I, I think this is a really, really handy tool to go go out and get if you have a small business and you're wanting to make uh, make things readily available for somebody to fill out job application with your store or with your company. I think it's very, very much uh, handy. I have one just to be able to use like Excel and, and, and uh, you know, different things on there that, that are like where you could type and a letter or something, you know? So that's why I have mine like that. So, but uh I want to um, thank Canva.com for letting me make a video uh, for my podcast thing. So, Canva, thank you for making it possible to make this awesome uh, six-second. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Canva, for making this possible. Uh, if you see some of my videos and stuff, I do uh, thank you guys. I'm trying to be a more of a creator and try to do this stuff every day. Um, right now, I'm in school for marketing and commerce. So that's what I'm doing right now is in school for that type of stuff. And uh, I like it. Uh, you know, it's an enjoyable, fun thing. Don't get me wrong. So uh, there's a lot to it. So uh, you know, make sure you take notes and make sure, you know, you, you know what you're looking at and, and, uh, and, and follow up on it as well. So if you have any studies, um, but anyhow, um, everything's going pretty good. So, um, I, I'm not real sure. I, I mean, I've got exciting news, but I can't tell it yet. Um. It's regarding Gary, but, a, you know, where our plans is to eventually create like a, a talk show, uh, a different talk show separate from 
the uh, Samuel Brock Flynn show, obviously, but create a different talk show. Um, that's our plan and goals and ideas as well. So, um, and he's wanting to do that uh, eventually. And, um, you know, but I figured out something. So I'm a 90s kid and um, I put out on Facebook uh, that this this AI stuff is getting scary by the day. <laughs> the They're making virtual assistants for everything. They're making the virtual assistants be your buddy. And I don't like talking to a virtual assistant much because it it. I, it don't feel normal to me because, you know, I'm used to talking and hanging out with a friend and saying, hey, how are you doing today? Are you good? You know, uh, you know, do you want to go fishing? Yeah, whatever. But you can't do that with an AI, go fishing or, uh, you know, or what have you or doing whatever. I mean, are you, you know, I, I don't know. It's like they're trying to make AI to be your best buddy over there. And I just like, what in the world? Who wants to talk to an AI? You know, there's literally an AI on a social media network now that you could talk to. And it's just scary. It's like saying, hey, you need a friend to talk to? Talk to this AI, you know? It's like, why would I want to talk to a robot? You know, most people are going to say, I want to talk to a real person, not something that's a robot, of course, you know, I mean, it's just, I, to me, I, I'm sorry, but we didn't have that in the 90s. I was not taught that way. And I was taught differently that, you know, you know, t today they're trying to indoctrinate that the AI is normal and, and that, you know, you're not to go out and socialize with your friends. You're to socialize with this AI and that's it. <laughs> You know, I'm not socializing with an AI or whatever. I'm not going for that indoctrination because I know it's not uh, proper and I, I don't feel that it's right. You know, um, I was I grew up differently than what this AI stuff is. So, you know, I mean, who wants to talk to an AI all day? Seriously, go out and go. I mean, an AI can't go fishing, you know, or. Uh, you know, or, or going to, uh, you know, some kind of fun arcade place, for example, you know, AI can't do that. Um, and I, and AI can't, there's a lot of things that an AI can't do. It can't go hunting. That's for sure. Y you know, you could take it with you hunting, but who wants to, I mean, you know, it, it can't go and go out here and, and kill a deer or it can't go out here and do a, <laughs> you know, or, you, you know, or do whatever. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just like indoctrinating people from going out of a athletic or, or healthy life to an unhealthy life is what I feel like it's doing because you're going and having people to do this and socialize with the robot and blah, blah, blah. And it's weird if you go out with friends and socialize, apparently it's like, uh, it's like flipped, you know, it should be the, it should be the other way around. It's weird to talk to an AI. It shouldn't be weird to talk to your friends. It shouldn't be weird to hang out with friends, but now it is. That's the part that I do not like the indoctrination on. So and uh, it, it's just weirds me out. I'm sorry. But <laughs> uh, I mean, I like some of the AI features like what this studio here and what I'm seeing and what you all are seeing. But I do not like it when it comes to trying to take over and be in your social life and, and act like a friend and all that, you know, because it can only do certain things. It can only go a certain point, it, you know, it and. You know, and sometimes that gets to the point saying, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, you're an AI. That's why you don't understand these human livelihoods that people have or the or things that's going on or what have you. You know, that's why you don't understand because <laughs> it can't it doesn't have the mindset as a human being. So um, but anyway, um 
uh, it, it's just strange to me is all I'm saying. Um, but anyway, it, you know, I, I thought it was crazy because I was like, my smartphone has a virtual assistant. I don't need another one on, for sure. Don't need another one on this uh, phone again on a on a uh, social media app. That's crazy. You know, and, and it says my AI and it says, oh, you could talk to it any time. And, and uh, the weirdest response I got to it today, let me go back to it. Um, just hold up a sec. So um, I said hi to it. it, says, hey, how's it going? What's new with you? I said, this is weird talking to a bot. So I totally get it, but don't worry. I'm here to chat and have fun just like a real friend. What's on your mind? And so when I got that response, um, I, I'll show you. When I got that response, I don't know if you can see that, but, um, you know, but, you know, I thought it was the craziest thing to, uh, you know, I thought this thing is trying to get people to convert into being friends with it instead of being friends with your with people that, you know, you can talk to and and and, and socialize and do things with. You know, that's the part that I thought was crazy. So I thought, wow, this is interesting. So you call me crazy or strange. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, but if you talk to an AI and, and say, "Man, bro, you need to talk to an AI," you know, you know, no, I'm not. There's no bro in me. There's, it, I'm not talking to an AI. I'm sorry, but I, I would rather have a normal life and act like a normal human being, as to portraying and act, making this AI look to be a human being. So I, I am not doing that. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that. So. Um, you know, too, too much weird has happened <laughs> the last couple of years. I had a crazy guy that was calling me using an AI voice and just being crazy with it. So, um, anyways, uh, you know, I hope you guys understand points I've made today. So probably a 12 minute point, but, you know, I, you know, I, I'd rather people understand, you know, the stuff that people do these days, if, especially like me, are not weird. You know, I'm just 90s. We didn't have this stuff really growing up. And and it's just something I wanted to get off my chest, you know. So, you know, but uh, everybody looks at like, you know, that it's weird to be hanging out with friends or it's odd to do that type of stuff. Go fishing with friends or hunting with friends or whatever, you, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of people look at it like that these days. I don't understand, but why? But they do. So you guys take care. Um, and, uh, you know, don't let the AI take over. <laughs> so have a great day. Oh, whoops. I clicked the wrong button.